Spoiler warning. If you have yet to play Pikmin 4, I would advise against watching this video right now. There's no big crazy spoilers, but the footage I used might contain some, so be wary. So I don't know if you guys are aware, but I am a pretty big pikmin -eer. A phrase coined by Arlo to describe the ever-growing fanbase of the Nintendo property Pikmin. For any of you who don't know what Pikmin is, in a nutshell, it is a task management strategy game where you command an army of sentient root vegetables to perform tasks and do your bidding within a certain amount of time. The setting of the game is very miniaturized, as you, the captain, are just sort of an inch tall, working amongst bugs and other small critters in different settings. Pikmin 4 follows the same exact formula of all the other games, growing and using Pikmin to complete different tasks and collecting items within the span of a day to achieve whatever the goal is in said game. A big part of the challenge of Pikmin games is the many different species of hostile creatures that try to hinder your progression. They can be hard to deal with, but also very rewarding, as their remains fuel the production of Pikmin and can sometimes drop key items. In Pikmin 1, 2, and 3, many above-ground enemies respawn, giving you the opportunity to defeat them again and gain more Pikmin. This is another added obstacle to keep you on your toes while you progress through the game, keeping previously discovered areas fresh and exciting. The one game that doesn't have this, however, is Pikmin 4. It's quite puzzling why they did away with this feature, as in my opinion, it only adds to your playtime and adds in a reasonable extra challenge. The only real reason I could think for them to remove it is to keep the game more accessible to new players. In other words, it's babying new players as to not scare them away and stop playing. This is all fine and dandy to anyone first picking up the franchise, but not the most thoughtful towards long-term fans. The weirdest part is, Pikmin actually had a hard mode in the third game's deluxe version, making various tweaks to the base mode to satisfy older players' desire for more of a challenge. Although Pikmin 4 has already been out for about two months now, it still probably wouldn't be hard for them to patch in a harder difficulty setting. As it is, the base game is really fun, but not the most replayable in my opinion. It might be fun to go in fresh again and play slightly differently than before, or come up with your own challenge, but either way, the game itself will be exactly the same. A harder difficulty will add so much replayability and entice anyone wanting to really challenge themselves to play again. There's no shortage of possible changes this new difficulty could implement, but we can start by taking a few pages from the previous hard mode in Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Pikmin 3's hard mode shortened the daytime, increased enemy health, lowered resources, and made Pikmin die to hazards faster. These are all great and can apply directly to Pikmin 4, but the big problem with Pikmin 4's difficulty is enemies not respawning. It would certainly help if they just made enemies respawn a few days after killing them, but it might be tricky, as in Pikmin 4 the enemy corpses don't disappear overnight, and remain there until you collect them. It would be weird to have an enemy respawn right next to its own corpse. This new hard mode could fix that by simply making it so that the corpses do disappear overnight, and enemies respawn in their place. Something even more extra they could do is increase enemies' health as well, maybe by twice its original percentage. And if they're feeling really adventurous, they could remix enemy spawning locations in more numerous and trickier locations. Admittedly, this is a lot and maybe overwhelming for even somebody wanting just a regular hard difficulty. But once again, Pikmin 3 Deluxe also had more than just two difficulty settings. Pikmin 3 had normal, hard, and ultra spicy mode, each of varying levels of difficulty. If the devs could add those to Pikmin 3, then I can't imagine it would be too incredibly difficult for them to add another difficulty setting to Pikmin 4. They know damn well of how much Pikmin veterans crave more of a challenge, and I think adding a regular hard mode, then adding an even more difficult veterans mode after beating the game once, should be a no-brainer. After listening through all of that, all I can say is thank you, thank you, and thank you for watching. I'm sure many other Pikmin fans agree with the sentiment that newer Pikmin games should be more challenging, and this is my way of giving back to the community. I hope it was somewhat enjoyable enough for you guys, and once again, thank you. Goodbye, and have a lovely day.